Wakey, wakey. It's time for you to wake up. Hi. <laughs> Did you miss me? Because I know I missed you. You see, it's been oh so long since we've actually had a conversation together. And, well, just in case you tried to run away, I decided myself to put you into some shackles of some sort. So your hands are handcuffed to your bed frame, and I tied up your legs with your bed sheets. <laughs> you thought I was dead. Didn't you? Surprise! I'm not dead. Matter of fact, I'm more alive than I ever felt. So, in that being said, I want to have some revenge. You see, not a lot of people get away from me. Only a small handful have. But with you, you got away. But now I'm back. And I want to ask you a few questions. You seem like a very uh, smart person. So... These questions are going to be kind of hard. Kind of like a pill that's hard to swallow. So my first question is, do you like anybody? Not just in a friendly way. No, 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 no. I mean in a romantic way. Do you love Anybody? A lot of people, I see, care to name some off, if you don't mind. Mm-hmm. Ooh. That's the one I was looking for. That name right there. My second question. Have you ever wanted to kill somebody? Come on, you don't have to be all quiet about it. It's only me and you in here. So come on, tell me something. Tell me. Have you ever wanted to kill somebody? <laughs> My third question. Because I know that you're a horror fanatic. You like horror movies. You like to be scared. So, let me ask you this. What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> you see, I'm more of a based on a true story type of person. I like when a movie tells me about a real life situation. Something that actually will scar me for the rest of my life. Kinda like a knife. Want me to elaborate or give an example? 
like so. And I with your hand here. I could easily just slice your palm. <laughs> No, don't yell. It doesn't hurt that bad. <laughs> all right. Well, my questions are all gone and answered. Because, well, my questions were leading up to a forward question. A, mo a question that was, uh... More in the future, of some sorts, if you could say. There was a loud truck outside. Maybe someone ordered some gasoline or something. Or even someone got scared and decided to drive off in their loud truck. Anyway... My follow-up question. How does it feel to have everything stripped from you? Every single thing that you loved and cared for stripped away. How does that feel? Or how does that make you feel? Well, in case you want to, you know, experience that, I myself made a little video. Do you want to watch it? Come on, it'll be great. Just look at the phone. <laughs> you see that? That's me. And who is that? Who are those two right there? Are those, are those your parents? Wh why are they tied up like that? Oh no. What's about to happen to them? Uh, oh no. It looks like their throats were slid open slowly. I like that. I like that. I like that video a lot. Oh, my videos aren't over yet. Come on, stop crying and screaming. Scroll over. Here's the second video. You said you had a crush or a loved one, right? Is this them? Oh, what did I do to them? Well, watch the video and you'll find out. Oh, what's that? It looks like... It looks like a meat hook of some sort in my hand. But what am I about to do to that person there with said meat hook? Oh! Ain't that just gory. <laughs> it looks like I gutted him like a fish. <laughs> A monster. No, no, no. I'm no monster. You see, I would more consider myself a director. Because, well, I'm obviously making my own movie. And guess what type of genre my movie is going to be. <laughs> my genre of my own film that I'm making. It's a horror movie. And guess what other genre it's going to be.
It's all based on a true story. <laughs> I'll be back for you. I'll leave you here to think about that. Ta-ta.